Last week, we saw Kusanagi take it over Vicaron to become their region's second representative for this season's Capcom Cup. Moving along, who among the competitors from North America West will win the chance to become one of theirs? Let's find out. To start things off, let's take a quick look at the players who made it out of their pools to reach Top 16. Down in losers, we've got Prototype who got eliminated by Revelo, JB who would do the same to Alex Myers, Yanub who won over Corey Bell, and White Gun who also got eliminated by Dom Hadeev. Then open winners Chris CCH who got sent down to the second round of losers top 16 by Flaquito, Chris T who would also be sent down by Filipino Man, Nephew who won over Luigi, and to round out that top 16, the final two players vying for that top 8 winner side spot, Samurai and Mod Oya. Trying to take advantage of Balrog's weakness in anti-airing, Samurai would start his offense by constantly jumping over Mod Oya. But what Balrog lacks in anti-airing more than makes up for it with his ground movement dashing in and striking Samurai before he could even get a chance to react. He's got turnaround punch to go through the fireballs, but that's why I was surprised he was going with V-Skill too, because Samurai, you know, his, his ground fireball pressure is a lot of what gives him his power. World class. Yeah, I can confirm, and I love the timing change up on the jump in right there. You can flip with the dive pick before, because he already, Mata Oha already showed the willingness to answer here and the timing on that, and then Samurai immediately jumped in. Go. Now, the pressure with the V-Trigger activation. Oh, big confirm. No! Ooh, execution error? Very but rare. You know what? It kind of worked out for him. He's good. Oh, Is Go this going to kill? Wow. Yes. Samurai. Right, and outside of that light uh, dash punch range, you have to be willing to whip punish it if you can get him to whip it. And again, even though Mop Samurai adapted to his time of doing the dive kick because the regular jump were getting punished, Matawa adapts right back. Activation is here. Oh, and this is going to be so scary. One more touch and you are lights out. Let's Got him up. with the low. Doesn't have enough to chip him anytime soon, though. So Samurai here is just chilling. He knows he has a trigger and basically a super. Ooh. One win. So here comes Samurai saving that meter nice. right now because now one hit will kill. All he needs is low forward fireball, standing light kick fireball, and those will all go into super. Patience, even on the shimmy right there. And Mata Oha knows that he can't make a mistake. Activation station, this is looking incredibly scary. The jump out, once again, neutral jump is waiting. Oh, if that was a neutral jump right there, he would have been able to kill him. Oh, you got clipped? Wow, what a beast skill. Frame tracked him with that up kick right there. Caught Mata Oha off guard. Samurai's like, nope, that is going to be only one of two times. Fool me once, shame on you. Fool me twice, shame on me. Yeah, he'd never do it again. That's jokes on you. Good old rock. Nothing beats rock. <laughs> That's definitely what we just saw there. Samurai. Gentlemen, rock. welcome to the rock. <laughs> yeah, this is this is looking very good for Samurai here. Matoha can still fight back, but now Samurai feeling so comfortable in the corner. Demon flip. Oh no, the mixturization and the Jimmy Jimmy. One more hit is done, and that might be lights out. Lights out for your running winner side, Samurai, with a 2-0 perfect to finish it off. I'm done playing for the day. I am about to meditate for the next 24 hours to move on forward in the top eight. Very good stuff from Samurai. After losing to Samurai, Maroya would head down to the second round of losers top 16 alongside Chris CCH and Don Cadiz. With how relentless Chris CCH was with his pressure, all Don Cadiz could hope for was that Chris CCH would somehow commit an error to give him some room to breathe. But even when Chris CCH did commit some of those mistakes, with how lacking Dalsum is in firepower, Chris CCH would simply get right back to it and continue rushing Don Cadiz down. And that's gonna be huge damage for Sam? Yeah! Oh, he's gonna set up the mix up. Which side? But did you see Chris CCH dash forward yep, to it. make it so that he blocked it faster and less of a mix-up situation? Ooh. That was so smart. You still have to deal with the explosion and the plus frames. Yeah. Remove all ambiguity from the situation. Just make yourself in a much cleaner place and Chris CCH. And throw. Just oh, the factor. I love him challenging. Oh, no, he just hit it. But the heck, Nunger is much still hit. Oh, he won. What do you mean? After that, all the grail that he touched and Chris CCH traded. After eliminating Don Cadiz, Chris CCH would qualify for top 8 losers alongside Mod Oya, whom he would then eliminate, and Luigi, who would also do the same to JP. Then up in winners, Samurai, who sent Flaquito down to the losers bracket, and Nephew, who would do the same to Filipino Man to advance forward and face Samurai in the winners final. Although both these characters are pretty much even when it comes to their mobility, it seems like Nephew would do a better job at stopping Kuma in his trap. 
how difficult it was to open Nephew up with Akuma's Demon Flip, Samurai would try his hand in softening up and conditioning Nephew with a few more fireballs before going in once again. Oh, what a reaction with the vanity step! Yeah, vanity step. Looking incredibly good. Whoa! Uh -oh. I can't believe that he was, walked out there. That was unfortunate for Nephew. Puts himself into the corner. On top of everything, yeah, he's gonna have the DP just like you don't want to block the hail, but what do I say? Actually, but now everything's looking up Samurai. Great tech on the throw. It would have been lights out there, but Beat the Girl is uh -huh. still on Oh, yeah, juggles are missing. What's happening? Oh, what, what is going on? Maybe some nerves. Oh, what oh. a fun end if you're dead. 2 0 lead just like that for Nephew. You're still in the same situation. You get hit once and you're done. So Samurai has to be immaculate right now. Utilize the beat trigger to its fullest. Almost halfway done. Still has the air fireballs available. This is. You're running out of time, Samurai. Uh, he's willing to, to play patient, but eventually oh. it's going to run out. Like you said, he's almost built his meter. But again, the Ooh. biggest problem is the trigger it's led fun. to nothing. The trigger did not give Samurai any benefit. And so Nephew just says, you know what? I'm just going to play so patient right now. Ooh. I have no reason to try too hard. He just played defensively. And there it is. Nephew is going to advance in the bracket. After losing to Nephew, Samurai would head down to the loser's final, where he would await the winner of the loser's semifinal match between Lakito and the CCH. With a combination of Sakura's fast walk speed, great buttons, and Chris ECH's reactions, every initial attempt made by Fukito to keep Sakura away would end up in failure. But as the match went on, Fukito would find the right distance where Rose's crouching medium kick would be the most effective and finally slow Chris ECH down. Oh wow, good punish on the fireball startup. And again, big crush counter. Chris ECH reviewed the bot from yesterday and said it's not happening again! Yeah, it's not! Chris. Trying to get one game on the board right away, which he didn't even do yesterday no. at all. Already looking better in place, but it's not over till it's over. But keep yeah. it with the activation. I love the V-shift. Yes, yes, yes. Such a lead. Chris. Mm -hmm. But look at this. Flakito now activation. on the verge of tying it up 1-1, despite the fact that Chris CCH looking so strong. Nice slide. Oh, oh. that's going to be a punish. Yeah, huge with punish. We're going to get that corner in position. That's huge. Activation comes out, though. And nice. Short. Short. There we go. Standing and light, yeah. side that time. Yeah, really respecting the, the meaty right there from the standing medium punch. And immediately just dash up throw, no challenge on the dash. That's it's gonna be huge, but still stabilizing a neutral, keeping at that safe range for Rose where you've got to commit to a jump on the fireball early, and Fokito knows that, so really being reserved, waiting for Chris to make, make an error, make a mistake. Just slowly, but you see right now, slowly walking Fokito into the corner. Yep. And even though it's slow, it's still progress. Ooh. And that's one of the things that you have to realize as a player. Slow, but it's still progress. Oh. Yep, the shin hand. This should be able to be it right now for Chris CCH. Who yeah. jump and hit crouching heavy punch. It must be done. It is infallible right now. His anti-airs are so good. The code cannot be disturbed, OK? He must execute on his <laughs> orders. I love I love to see it. The Terminator must terminate. Fakito, oh, great. Actually, that's a trade this yeah, is. Yeah, that's a great but that trade. One is not. It's a great trade, and here we go. Ooh. Now, confirming max distance, medium punch into the crouching medium kick. Right. The throw, the stun. Oh. This should be able to do it for Chris CCH. Demons have been exorcised. After eliminating Fakito, Chris CCH would do the same to Samurai to proceed to the grand final to face Nephew. And with Nephew having already qualified, Chris ECH would automatically be handed that Capcom Cup spot. Which means this grand final is now only for bragging rights. Point in the corner we go, a little bit closer. Sweep back to base. Caught him, caught him flinching right there. Really oh, that's going to be a big jump, yes. yeah. It's going to hurt. He's got all the meter, oh, baits it yeah. out, and that's going to be game number one for Chris ECH. Going to the Super for good measure, just to be sure. <laughs> Don't wake up too. Pretty good right there. Go for the shinny butt, nephew. Very wide, waits it out. Yeah, good patience. You might have been hit DP off that neutral jump. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wow, like you said, like you read the future. That, yeah. You read the future, James. You went for the back throw again. Got him. Stayed in the front. Of course, you want to keep the corner. He shifted yes. away to escape the cross up. That was genius. But Chris CCH has a chance for the comeback. Ooh. He just did it. He just did it. He knew that. Yeah, if you wanted his turn because he had plus frame. But these fireballs are so fast. Oh. He just did it again! He, was he just did it again! Oh, he didn't go for the cross-up action with the jump. Heavy kicking got the throw Ooh. as well. And I love that check, but again, the projectile invincibility of that. 
can't deal with fireball, man. High spike. Yeah, very good slide after the throw. Good check to confirm. Oh, oh yeah! Look at Manny stretch out. She just can't deal with them. <laughs> she just can't do it. Now she's having a problem dealing with the fireballs. But the jump it! And wow, you found it! And hit her on the landing frames. Yeah, so good. The and reset! Walk up in the reset from Chris CCH. Right now, feeling really comfortable. A lot of resources on the side of Chris CCH. Throw tech and out of there. Ooh. And it doesn't matter that he got hit out of the nope. air because he got out of the corner and got the hit and has the corner position, oh, activation. No. Yeah. Here comes the fear. Oh, can he do something to that? Wow, the cancel off of that to punish the EX. Was and that, that the cancel? Stun? Did it just recover? I don't know what happened there, but this is going to be dead. And Chris CCH with game number one versus nephew. I can go through your attack. It double did. dash, double dash. Anything Plus you can friends. do, I can do better. It's what's happening right now. Dead. Oh, nice hit confirmed. The single hit confirmed. All right, all the way to the corner. Goes for the mix up. Wow, you blocked wow. that. And now you're in the corner, so he's going to double jump to get out of there. Chris CCH still alive. Not No V trigger activated anymore, though. Gets yes. the hit and the confirm. This is so tense. Either oh, side. no confirm. So close. Right, no critical art finishes. I'm gonna confirm off of the low medium. I can't believe it. 2 0 lead for Chris CCH. Are you gonna 6 0, nephew? Yeah. But now, look at this catching up on life for Chris CCH with all that meter. He wants to find the activation point. Can't go for the EX option, but not gonna go for the activation here. When you activate after this, right this is so scary. Right now, the critical art just goes for the super. Is this gonna kill? Is this gonna kill? It's gonna be no, just no, no, short. No, no, no. He still has the V trigger going. He still has the V trigger alive. No anti air. Oh, the fireball. fireball. Yes. So close. No more trigger left. Down to this. Just a tiny bit of check. V break. Oh. Can't kill. And the the throw. throw. Nephew is alive. Yeah. You have to make Chris CCH be shaken because otherwise Chris is going to keep being confident with these buttons. But right now, Nephew is doing all the right things. Uh -huh. This is going to be a huge punish. Well, there we go. There we go. We're starting to see the signs right now. The cracks. Oh, man. Not in a great position in the corner. Trying to bust out, walking forward, feeling confident. But that's the final check on the dash. This should be stun, and this might be lights out for the round. It might be going to 2-2. Two -two. It's going to be so close. Oh, that's going to do it. The air throw should be able to finish it off. Yup. Oh, oh, like that, dude. There two -two. we go. We are tied at 2-2. Two -two. H has been looking clean the entire time. Wants to be able to close this out. Are you clutch enough? Or is Nephew going to be the demon of all on the West? There we go, the throw from Matthew. Back dash out just outside of the range of that standing right kick. Oh, Crushes. There we go, and Matthew now on the verge. There he is. Final. He's at tournament point. Tournament. Shimmy into the throw. Oh, oh why the punch? Punch? You get hit by a life punch, and then you still hit punch? Why not, right? Are you a nut? I'm here to play. I've only got one potential round left. I gotta Trying do to it. Go for the, for the shimmy, the Tatsu shimmy, but here it is, guys. Meter for the raw activation just yet. Life lead too far away for the throw. Too far away. Trying to get the correct spacing. Charge fireball coming up with the challenges Charge, from Nephews yeah. are still there, not getting checked. And no more V trigger. Yup. Now, I'm gotta be careful of the raw activation if you throw a fireball. Oh, there, there was, he predicted it. That was that was, that's what that was. He was predicting the fireball. Yeah, but now fireballs are so risky on the side of Chris CCH, but gets the touch in the middle going. That might be it. Yes, Nephew! Is, is this going to kill? Nephew is once again the NA West champion of Capcom Pro Tour. So that's it for the second event in North America West for the Capcom Pro Tour 2021. Congratulations to Nephew for the win and to Chris CCH for becoming the second representative of their region alongside Nephew. Next up, we'll have Europe East and Russia, so make sure you won't miss out on that. Check out the links below for more Capcom Pro Tour news and information. Also, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, don't forget to show your support by leaving a like, sharing it with your friends, and by subscribing so you won't miss out on the latest recap from my channel. That's it for me for now. Until next time.